just I fucked up. Okay, so I'm taking a risk here. He offered me a ride. Taxi's quite sketchy. Do you want me cash? I don't know where I am. Take me back to Mexico. That can come sun will turn the sun. We're high on me. Want to hide okay. with me. Hola, mi familia. Uh, bienvenidas a Cancun, Mexico. Uh, mi nombre Victoria Rose. Mi gusto. Two. <laughs> Today I am in Cancun, Mexico. I traveled here all by myself. I was part of a digital nomad group for a few months in Latin America. This is the end of my road. I said goodbye to all of them. This is the last leg of my time with Wi-Fi artists. You can get the links below for Wi-Fi artists, their digital nomad community that you can join if you want to, because it brings it like you can have community and not be alone all the time. And I am pretty burnt out. I'm ready to. This is where I'm staying, by the way, in Mexico. We have a huge shared house. Mm -hmm. I fucked up. I fucked up. So I flew here from Peru, and at the airport, I was having issues. So I reviewed my flight purchase and realized I could not, in fact, refund it. So I have to go, I have to leave from Cancun. Cancun is very far away from Mexico City. But Mexico City, back up to the States, is like $700. And from Cancun, it was like 300 so I'm just like, I'll just do it from Cancun. But then I had to get a flight to Cancun, and then I realized that n nobody else is available to go to Cancun then. So I have to fly to Cancun for, for a day by myself to get this flight back to the States. So it's going to be like a three-day traveling process or four days to get back to the States. I didn't even care. Like, I wasn't even going to go to Cancun. What am I supposed to do in Cancun for like a day or a half a day? I get in at 2 a.m. and then I have to leave the next day at like 7 a.m. there. But right now I'm in Mexico City. I have a nice week here. I've been here before actually with my friend Steffi Lee. A lot of you guys probably know who that is. Leave Los Angeles. Okay. Let's go to Mexico. Mexico? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not going to really show you too much of Mexico City because I'm stressed out. No, just because I've, I've already been here before and I already did Mexico City vlogs. So if you want to see those, you can go back way, way, way back four years ago. Outfit of the day. Update, my back is still absolutely killing me and I can't walk for long distances. So the whole group is out on a walking tour of Mexico City, which to be fair, I have already walked around Mexico City enough, but it's, I can't do it. Like I literally can't. My server, which was at that cafe, bought my coffee for me. <laughs> uh, I've never had that happen before. That's so cute. Um, I was very confused because the language barrier. I'm like, me pay, me pay, me pay. He's like, no. I'm like, what? Come on, come on. <laughs> I didn't understand. But yeah, that's a um, good use. Great service. Great service to this. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, all done. Too many people around this area. Um, time to go to, we'll figure out the Cancun thing now, all right? Try to get that out of the way first. And this is Mexico City. I wanted to get a little bit in Mexico City before I just, you know, ran off. So that's that. Now we just have to get to Cancun alone, figure that out. Hola, como esta? Buenas tardes. Now we have lots going on. I've um, been in Mexico City for a week. I haven't vlogged much at all except for, you know, when I got the tattoo. My room is an absolute chaotic mess. I need to, I was going to trim up my hair, which I do 
every couple weeks. I have this whole routine of traveling now where I just kind of, I know what I'm doing, but I have to pack all this up somehow. It, it weighs quite a bit, so I don't know how I'm gonna like put it all. I have to like, every time I leave somewhere, every country, I leave a bunch of clothes behind. I have to. It's kind of like a, it's nice because it gives me kind of like a minimalistic mindset. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's whenever, like, I, I don't have the time. Ah, fucking hell. Fucking hell. I don't have the, the capacity to clean whenever I'm only going to be here a short period of time. I should have just flown out from Mexico City. I didn't even want to go to Cancun, but now I have to because everything's all booked. But the Airbnb won't have any snacks or any places to get food around, so I have to take some snacks. And I picked this up, and I wanted to show it to you. It's crickets. Cricket protein. Anyways, I'll show that to you later once I'm already. How I packed all of that mess into these two suitcases and backpack is beyond me. I feel sick, honestly. I feel like overheated and, cause there's a lot of thought that goes into um, puzzling everything together and I still think it, they all weigh quite a bit. This is over 50 pounds, way over 33 pounds. This is my life. This is everything in my life. I don't know how I get it all to like get squished into like that. It's a lot of work. And this is all the clothes that I had to th have to get rid of. I've left stuff, my stuff behind it in like every country. Mexico City Airport's very confusing, not even because it's in Spanish, it's because it's set up weird. Hopefully it will, it'll go without a hitch. What, why am I talking like that? I'm trying to pretend like I'm not out of breath, but this thing is heavy. This airport is the worst airport in that I've ever been in. There's no air conditioning for one thing. I'm sweating so bad and the halls never end. Like, there's no direction. This airport is hell. It's so hot. There's no air conditioning. It's so hot. Also, I bought this water and nuts for like $10. I don't know if I'm going to survive this, but... I got a middle seat. I keep getting those. I, I think it's to teach me a lesson. Stop complaining so much, but I hate everything. Especially middle seats. I'm like less than economy <laughs> status. I'm like peasant. Just strap her to the bottom of the plane. That'd be more comfortable to me than a middle seat. Okay. Alright, so I'm here at the airport. It's like 2 in the morning. And now I have to get a taxi because I don't have Ubers. My dad, call me. And if you wanna... I have to go um, quickly because my Airbnb is waiting for me. Oh. All right, let's try this. Uh, Quanto? Is it here? 15 minutes drive. Jeez. I thought so expensive. <laughs> I, I told you, if, if you want to wait. Do you think they're all the same? Uh, yes. If you want to wait, my dad can. Um, I wouldn't want your, I wouldn't want your dad to have to do that. No, don't worry, don't worry, no worry. That would be like, who's this random person? No, don't worry. Fine. That's more than I would pay in New York City. Yeah. Like that's. A, $36 is a lot for a 15 minute drive, right? So I'm taking a risk here. I met my friend here <laughs> on the airplane and he offered me a ride because the taxi is strange, but <laughs> don't worry. It's a, it's a little strange. And if I don't make it, you guys will know. Um, but if I do, I save 25 bucks. <laughs> See if I get there or not. Sorry. Jeez, he's already beating me up. <laughs> Um, so now we're just waiting and my uber or my airbnb people are waiting up for me to check in because it's like two something in the morning so I'm very tired and I'm ready to be out of the airport. And it's very humid here for first impressions Sorry. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. All right, So now we are friendly, no? <laughs> Friends <laughs> The way to the Airbnb is quite sketchy and um, bouncy. You wake up, you can enjoy all the okay? Mm -hmm. All the, the garden. Okay, so I'm looking like a real mess right now, but this place is so cute. Like, I'll show it to you tomorrow. I'm looking rough, and I survived. I'm so happy <laughs> that I saved $25. What a nice guy. Yeah, he sat beside me in the airplane and we were just kind of talking, like trying to um, 
help each other with Spanish and English. It's like 10 minutes from the airport, but it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So we had to go down this bumpy dirt road. And mind you, I have no idea where I'm going. And uh, you know, I have, they could take me anywhere. It was so nice of them and his parents to just drive a complete stranger. And I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? I don't get a bad vibe, so that was really kind. I'm tired, it's three in the morning. Um, I packed, I have a little bit of water and a couple like granola bars, but that's all I have. And there's no food around here. Cause like I said, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so I have to survive on that for tomorrow. I'll show you around the place. Surviving so far. I can't believe I made it here. Uh, I have a fan, I'm so happy. Um, yeah, good night. Uh, I think I'll end this video here. Thank you for coming here with me. Don't know how I'm gonna do this Cancun for 12 hours type of thing. I don't even know how to get a taxi from here. I don't have any cash. I don't know where I am. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how to get around. I have no food. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're doing it. Um, so, good night. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. And we'll see what happens. Uh, buenas noches.